I'm glad I'm in a relationship, though. I'm much better in a relationship. I like it for a lot of reasons. One of those reasons that all my friends now come to me for relationship advice. Doesn't that feel good, right? When you're in a relationship and someone comes to you for advice, it's like, I can't handle my own problems, but yours. Give me two seconds. <laughs> I got you. Easy. And I have a lot of guy friends. I grew up a tomboy, so all my guy friends will come up to me, and they were always saying the same thing. They're always like, I just want to find a chick that's not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> We're all crazy. <laughs> right, ladies? Just own your crazy. Own it. It feels good. Yeah, own it. Yeah. Own that crazy, ladies. It feels so good. It makes your relationship so much easier. When I first got with my boyfriend, I was like, look, there's a good chance I'm going to try to stab you. <laughs> You're not going to know why. Maybe one day you come in breathing my air. That's how people get stabbed on that day. <laughs> That's part of it. You guys have to understand this. If I wasn't a comic, first of all, I'd be a relationship therapist. I've been obsessed with relationships for a really long time. And I love talking to people about them. And here's my favorite thing is that what well, people don't understand, the basic thing that will save your relationship, as everybody leans in, yes, we think differently. We problem solve differently. It's not a big deal, people. Don't sweat it. I can explain to you how to get over this hump. You have to understand where your lady's coming from, right? Because let me explain how we think. Like, guys, if I could problem solve like you, I would. I wish I could. Because there's no emotional attachment to an issue. You have a problem, you find a solution, that's the end of your problem. What is that like? <laughs> I wish I could do that. But I'm an emotional thinker, so I can't even get past step one. Right? I have a problem, yeah, I found a solution, but I don't know how I feel about the solution, so now I have two problems. <laughs> This is clearly going to snowball into a way bigger deal. <laughs> and that's just one thing you have to understand. Here's another, almost more important thing you have to understand. Our brains, a woman's brain, is a 24-hour thinking machine. Yep, everyone in here knows what I'm talking about. Every woman in here knows what I'm talking about, and every guy is using his man logic and going, that's physically impossible. <laughs> you have to sleep at some point. No, we don't. We're perfectly fine watching you guys sleep. <laughs> Which every woman in here has done, by the way. And it's just as creepy as it sounds. <laughs> the second you fall asleep, we're like... <laughs> and we don't just watch you. Check your girl's phone. She's got like a million pictures of you sleeping. <laughs> He's such an angel. <laughs> Ugh, what are you, a serial killer? Relax. Here's the thing, it's miraculous to us when you guys go to sleep, it is. Because you just make the decision to go to sleep and that's all it takes. <laughs> that's all it takes. You guys go, I'm tired. <laughs> what, what just happened? <laughs> We're like, was he just hit with a tranquilizer dart? <laughs> How did that happen so fast? Because wouldn't it be so great, ladies, if we could fall asleep like that? Wouldn't it be amazing if you could just fall asleep? But here's what happens, fellas. The second we close our eyes, the second we close our eyes, our brains go, um, there's just this one thing. <laughs> if you could just wake up for a second and I'm totally gonna let you sleep. <laughs> but it's never one thing. It's like a series of the most pointless thoughts you could ever have, right in a row, right? It starts off with something simple. You're like, well, maybe I wear that blue dress tomorrow, but not the blue one, because it kind of makes me look fat, but not too fat, because last time I wore it, Karen said I look nice. I don't trust her, though. She's kind of a skank. Not a big skank, but I don't know her life. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but if the book is completely open, I mean, I can pretty much judge it, right? Because I can read the pages. <laughs> my therapist says I don't have enough female friends, but I don't trust him either. You're telling me I give you all my problems, you don't take that home? What if he has a drinking problem? What if he's there drunk all the time? He doesn't say much. Maybe he's sleeping. I don't know. Maybe he's smart enough to know that if I look at him, he has to look up, right? He wants me to take medication. I don't think I need medication, because I don't want to put anything foreign in my body. Why should I have to do that? And we just keep going and going and going.
dahulu kala Kula jadi hidup yang biasa Sampai kau temukan pelangi Dahulu kalah